Hello and welcome to a new video in which I want to uh, try and show you how to do flash uh, test motor onto a son of basic and communicate with uh, domotics. Uh, so at first um, you will need a son of basic, a screwdriver, uh, maybe a soldering iron and some header pins. You will need a USB to TTL uh, adapter and some jumper wires so this is uh, this is the box in which mine came in um, yeah it's just a standard box and inside it are uh, is a bag with screws and of course the son of basic itself uh, with two uh, protection caps which we put will put to the side um yeah now we'll need uh, to take it apart with our uh, and this will be the easiest with our flathead screwdriver uh, once you have taken it apart uh, well this is uh, the board uh, you will see uh, next to the button here the uh, GPIO uh, pins or the the holes you will need to uh, I will need to solder uh, header uh, pins to uh, you may find them already uh, soldered in place this will depend from batch to batch um, if your son of may have those header pins or not uh, I will have to uh, solder them so uh, I have a gas soldering iron iron but uh, a cheap uh, well uh, soldering iron on uh, electricity will work too um, just insert uh, five of those header pins into uh, the holes next to the button then we'll take some solder and put it on the tip of the soldering iron so we can try and get the pins get one pin uh, attached so we can lay down the son off onto the desk and solder in the rest of the pins once uh, you have sorted in all of the pins it will look something like this and you can then uh, grab your USB to uh, TTL uh, adapter I have it uh, over here you can see it's uh, it says 3.3 uh, volts uh, TX RX and ground uh, and you connect can connect it with those female to female uh, jumper wires onto It's sort of like this. Uh, I will put in uh, a picture diagram right now uh, into the video so you can uh, check uh, and put the jumper wires to the corresponding pins on uh, the sun off. Now that you have uh, connected your uh, USB uh, to TTL uh, to your sun off, you will need to press the uh, button on uh, on the son off and put it into the USB port on the uh, of your computer all right then we need to open uh, device manager and you can find under com ports your uh, your com port and you will need this um, yeah you, you will need this soon uh, we will open this folder and I have uh, here this text document uh, in which uh, we need to uh, open the command prompt uh, admin so I will open the command prompt as administrator and yes alright now I will need to uh, like this uh, I need will need to uh, go to the folder uh, my son of that bin 
uh, will be and you can uh, you can get all of this uh, from uh, a link in the video description so uh, you can download this whole folder and then you will get a folder called testmoda um, and in there is a ESP tool.exe and mine is in this path so copy this and type in cd space uh, and control v and go then it will go to that folder then you need to uh, grab this command and this com4 uh, this com needs to uh, match up with this one so in my case it is com4 but it may uh, may be different uh, in your uh, situation um, now we paste the commands in the command prompt and push enter and if all went correct it should regain uploading and writing in the flash remember that if you uh, did not press the button on uh, the sun off when you plugged in the usb uh, this will not work and you will have to try again so unplug then the uh, usb uh, to dtl adapter from your computer push the uh, button on uh, the sun off and put it back in wait a couple seconds one or two seconds and then release the uh, button otherwise it will not go into programming mode and uh, you will fail uh, uploading your uh, Desmota sketch to uh, the sun off uh, it's almost ready yeah right it's ready now um, you will need a program that's called termite and i do have it over here termite and you will need to go to settings set the baud rate to uh, 115,200 and set to the corresponding com port you also used in the command uh, because now i have a, a handy command over here um, in, in which you uh, can put in your SSID, your uh, Wi-Fi password, your MQTT broker host, uh, which you will need to uh, let it talk to Domotix. Um, how to set up a MQTT broker? Um, I explained that in a previous video. So if you uh, have not already, uh, you do not already have a MQTT broker you uh, will have to set up that first before you proceed with uh, the next step because you will need the uh, MQTT host in my case this is, this is the IP address of my Domotics instance uh, with the user and the password um, and then you can give it a, a name so I mine is son of one so I will make ones of all those axes and then you can copy this backlog command and paste it in here and it will put in all of the details uh, of your son of and it will restart uh, your son of so it will connect to the, your mqtt broker and we can uh, set it up in uh, domotix Once um, you put in the backlog command, and you have put in the backlog command. Once you have put in the backlog command and uh, restarted uh, the sun off, you can go into your router or uh, get an app on your phone like Fing, and uh, get the IP address of your uh, sun off, which in my case is 192.168.2.88 you will get this uh, configuration page uh, and before we go any further in here you will need to go to domotics um, go to setup and hardware uh, create a new hardware type called dummy dummy and call it uh, dummy devices and add now we need to click create virtual sensors and call it son off and this needs to be a switch all right 
Now under our switches tab, we have here the sun off. And if we go to devices, that sun off has an IDX. And we need to remember that. Now, if we go back to our configuration, we do not have to configure our MQTT because we already did that with the um, backlog command. But we need to click um, from the main menu, configuration, and configure domotics. And then here on the IDX1, um, put in the IDX found on the dummy device you just created. And in my case, that is one. If I click save, my uh, son of will restart. So I have to uh, wait a quick moment. And here it's back. And now, if I uh, create two windows of my browser real quick, because that's a little easier. If I go in here and toggle my son off over here, so it will change to on. And if I toggle it over here, off, the son off over here will change to off. Uh, don't worry if there is a little delay uh, between that because the Domotics web page will only refresh uh, once every 10 seconds. So it may take 10 seconds to, uh, well, to respond. Um, but this is how, um, how you uh, get a son off to uh, connect to uh, Domotics. Uh, I hope you found this uh, interesting and uh, learned a little bit uh, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.